Hello everyone, welcome or welcome back. I'm Melanie Kate Love and thank you so much for joining me here for another episode. Now today we have another fabulous oracle and tarot reading to give you some guidance, maybe some clarification or understanding around the new moon in Aries on March 27th or 28th, depending on where you are in the world. Now I am so excited about this new moon. Number one is because it's in my sign of Aries and I just wanted to give you a little bit of perspective as to what's going to happen. As you are probably aware from my last reading, new moons are all about new beginnings and they're all about starting fresh and whatever you've been thinking about for the past month, it's time for you to take practi practical action and really like come to terms with you know, you've got a lot of things going on inside you and you've been pushing them away for a long time. This is the time that you need to start. And because Aries is the first sign of the Zodiac, it's also like the, the biggest beginning you're going to be receiving in 2017. Now, if you are an Aries, my gosh, it's even more um, powerful for you. So I've got my angel um, oracle cards here from Doreen Virtue. I'm just gonna shuffle them. I did a bit of a shuffle before, but we'll just see how we go. So we can get some, oh, holy moly. No, I just shake the energy, so a little bit jittery today. Probably because I actually didn't do a full moon reading for you. Holy moly, we'll just pull that one over. I'll just get three cards out and then we can go from there. I've just been a little bit busy recently, as you guys know if you've been watching my Law of Attraction series. I manifested a new job on a private luxurious island, so I kind of got swept up in all of that momentum. And now that contract's finished, um, I'm finding my balance again. So, no, that's all, the card, okay, right. New partner. Now this can be taken multiple ways. It doesn't necessarily mean a romantic partner, but that is wonderful if you are single. But this could also mean like a new business venture, a new partnership, basically a new project, something that you're working on. Beautiful energy. So it says, a chance meeting is no mistake. It is divinely orchestrated as a catalyst to set the wheels in motion for the fruition of your prayers. Pay careful attention to the new people we send into your life. You will recognize them by your sense of familiarity, comfort, and safety. That's really beautiful. Oh my gosh. All right, let's get some clarity from the book. I love these readings, okay. Um, new, okay. The angels have given you this card as a signal that someone new has or is about to enter your life as an answer to your prayers. This person will be a partner in a business, a friendship, or a romantic sense. Don't go looking for him or her as it will happen very naturally. When you meet this individual and open to divine guidance, which will direct you both in loving and magical ways. Additional meanings. You've met or will soon meet your soulmate. Allow other people to help you instead of trying to do things alone. Consult an expert. Your prayer is being answered through other people. A new pet is coming into your life. That's so beautiful because <laughs> the new contract that I had um, that I had just completed sent me people into my life that I did not expect and I know that by meeting these people it's going to be a business partnership and it's going to I just feel like it's got international prospects I feel like I'm going overseas again Okay, let's get some clarity universe. I don't know if I told you if this was, I can't remember if I said out loud, but if you're new to the whole Oracle tarot reading, this is a general reading. So just feel what, you know, what comes up for you. Whatever pops into your head when you pull up that card, that is exactly your divine guidance telling you that that's what that message is an interpretation for you. Okay, universe, can we have some clarity for our beautiful MK love fam? Okay, yeah, this one came up twice, I just didn't know. Child, 
I love this card. Number one is because it's like letting your inner child play. And to me, that links directly to our self-love practices. So you're just doing things. Okay. Think of a time when you felt truly happy, you know, when you were younger. So what were you doing? What was the activity? Who were you around? You need to get back into the habit of doing that more often. So if you've been following my Instagram, which I am slowly revamping. <laughs> um, it is, I have just been um, boogie boarding, which I used to do when I was younger, and that lets my inner child shine. There's another thing that Peter and I have been doing this week as a part of raising our vibration, and we've been following all the teachings of Abraham. Um, Abraham, not I was gonna say Abraham Hicks, but yeah. Um, and we jump around the house and like, I'm literally holding my boobs. If it's first thing in the morning, if I've got no bra on, we're like jumping around the house, just like jumping together, like holding each other. And we're jumping and we're just like laughing our heads off. And it's just like something so simple elevates your frequency. And before you know it, you just feel good. And when you feel good, that's when you get closer to closing the gap to resistance. And then my loves, that's when you manifest your true desires. Anyway, let's just go back to reading more about this card. You care deeply about children and they re readily respond to your love. All children, including our own inner child, require love, affection, and attention. When we clear and open your heart, or we can clear and open your heart and schedule so that you can give more time and energy to the children who need to play. Isn't that incredible? So it's like, make the time for your self-love. You know what makes you feel good, but you've maybe let that slip because, you know, things have come into the mix and maybe you've been spending a lot of time releasing your blockages and, you know, you've kind of let that slip. Because sometimes what happens is we get to a point and we're like, you're feeling really, really good. And you're like, yeah, I feel really good. Oh, I won't work out today. You're feeling really good. And then you start to dip. Oh, I won't work out today because I'm not feeling really good. And then you slowly dip and then before you know, you're up here and then you go all the way down the emotional guidance scale and before you know it, you're in depression or fear, you know? So you have to make the effort every single day to work on yourself. You know, I was listening this morning actually to um, Jessie J. She had, um, she was live on Instagram. I actually wrote down a quote that she said, it was so profound. She said, the best project you'll ever work on is yourself. You know, there is no pill that can make you um, feel happier. You know, there is like, how do I explain it? There are antidepressants, but they are a topical thing to help people, you know, um, that maybe antidepressants isn't the right topic to talk about. because so I get really, um, it's a sore spot for me and I may say things to offend people. So we will change that one. So it just basically, there's like no quick fix for anything to do with self-love. That's why so many people hate themselves, hate their lives. They're so negative. You know, I was around people recently that were just so negative and so um, verbally abusive to um, their family. And it really took me back. And I was like, I can't believe that you are actually talking to people that you love like this. So you just have to stay in the vortex. And by being in the vortex means like being in alignment, doing the things that you love that make you feel happy. It's as simple as that. When the shit hits the fan, watch my video, how to release physical and emotional blockages. Also watch the video, The Astonishing Power of Emotions and how to feel happier one thought at a time. Those videos are amazing. They're in my Law of Attraction series, which will be linked on the very end card of this video. And that's all that the world needs. The world needs you to start thinking happier thoughts so you can in turn influence those people around you, not necessarily by saying, oh my gosh, you have to do this because you're doing this wrong and this wrong and this wrong. People don't respond to that. They pick up on your vibration, which is all about the law of attraction and your vibe attracts your tribe. You will have noticed that as you transition through different stages of your life, some people stay and some people disappear. And that's okay, that's the beauty about it because maybe they were a vibrational match to you at that time, but now you have maybe elevated your vibration 
and they're not really matching up to it. And that's why some people, as you transition either to become vegan or as you start your spiritual practice or you start um, doing more meditations and mindfulness and you start incorporating more of the law of attraction, you'll notice people will perceive you differently. It's like they liked you when you were boring and you were depressed because you weren't speaking up and they could deal with you. But now that you have this voice and you have like this energy around you, they can't deal with it. But that's okay. That means that there are more beautiful people who are vibrational matched to you are coming. And maybe that's going to be the new partner. Maybe that's going to be your new best friend. Maybe it's going to be um, somebody new at your yoga class or your meditation class. Or maybe it is actually a love interest because astrologically speaking, especially if you're an Aries, romance is on. Okay. Wow, let's get some clarity universe for new partner and child for our beautiful MK love fam. Oh, it's going to be a good month. It is go April. I'm just so excited for the energies associated with Aries. And I turn 30 in April, April 14th. I can't believe I'm going to be 30. I'm so excited to be 30. It's just like... As Louise L. Hay says, it's going to be my best decade yet. Like I thought my 20s, like I met the love of my life, you know, I found my calling. Um, I made a lot of mistakes, but you know, I made so much growth and you're probably feeling like that too, coming into the new um, year. As I said in all my other videos before, we're in a numerological cycle of one, which is massive change, new beginnings. Okay, I'm going to stop talking. Okay. Three. I just heard three, two, one. They're like, hurry up. <laughs> two. Okay. One. Top card. Oh, wow. Blessing in disguise. So maybe this partner is going to startle you and you're like, oh, what's happening? I'm losing my balance. And then this is like when you forget your self-love practices, maybe this is why the chance come up to be like a reminder for you. But, you know, sometimes when we fall in love, with whatever we're doing, we lose our balance initially, but we know how to find it. So temporarily, if you find that you are losing your balance, you know that you can just make better choices the next day. And you know, it's a new day. It's what's that song? It's a new dawn. It's a new day. It's a new life for me. And I'm feeling good. I don't know why that just came to me. Okay. Let's read this one. What appears to be a problem is actually part of your answered prayer. You'll understand the reason behind your present situation as everything Results, trust in heaven's protection and infinite wisdom to answer your prayer in the best way. I just wanted some more clarity on that one. Blessing in disguise. She kind of looks bummed. She's like, oh, I've been waiting for this partner for so long. I don't know. Let's get some clarity. I don't know what's with that face. Okay, the angel sent you this card to help you recognize the blessing in the admits in the midst of an apparent challenge. What you've appeared to have lost needed to fall away. Oh. And will be replaced with something better. Have no fear of your future, but continue praying and following the guidance that comes to you through repetitive feelings, thoughts, visions, and words. Additional meanings. One door closes, another one opens. The how is up to God with respect to the best way to enter your prayers. That is totally linked in with the law of attraction. Release the need to control and predict the outcome to the situation. Trust. I wonder what's happening for you guys. I just find this like so interesting. What story are these cards telling you? What do you see? Let's go to the tarot. Because that last card kind of just like made me feel a bit sad. And I was like, but then sometimes like when new chapters end, obviously some people may need to leave your life. So maybe it's not so, like, obviously when things end, you do feel a little sadness, but then the sadness needs to come because then you like, beautiful things are always on the way, especially when you're in the vortex. 
I have a lot to share with you. I'm going to be making a, um, another video. I think it would be like episode six as a part of our Law of Attraction series. Things that have been happening to me recently is like, what? Hanging out with millionaires, driving an Audi, dude, Vortex life. Wow, that just came out. Is amazing. King of Earth, a successful time. Oh, I'll show you, sorry. King of Earth, look at those pictures. I'll just focus on it. Okay, what does it say? A successful time, confidently accept opportunities you're offered offered the Midas touch. Holy moly. That's really beautiful. You're sitting on a throne. You have a, you are the king. It doesn't get any better than that. Maybe you found your king. Whatever this new partner is, it's a king. It's not like a prince. What? It's funny, when I met my partner, he thought that he was a prince, but I saw him as a king. And it wasn't until recently we had a conversation and he was like, no, honey, I was a prince when I met you. I was like, no, you weren't. He just didn't see what I, oh, what is that song? Do you see what I see? Do you see what I see? I don't know why that just came to me. Anyway, so sometimes people, um, don't know how wonderful they are until someone Oh, I'm a little bit, there we go. Um, anyway, I'm sweating right now. I just turned the aircon off because it was too loud with the microphone. Okay, I can't even think right now. Where's the earth card? Okay. Do -do 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 -do. Is it king or knight? King. Okay, so there's two different scenarios that can play out. So just work out whatever feels right for you. So there's a situation and then there's people. So I'll read the situation first. This is a successful time. Your, pro your current projects will go well. You may be promoted or offered a higher salary. Your talents and skills will bring rewards for you and others. Accept the opportunities offered and you'll have the confidence to succeed. That's really beautiful. Okay. Let me just keep going on to the people. Someone with outstanding business skills skills who is good with money and can provide excellent advice so this could be like a business partnership maybe a person who has been successful in a career and now enjoys the finer things in life professional generous responsible practical and competent additional meanings the Midas touch it's like everything you touch turns to gold so it's an ex successful time for you the captain of industry, employers, and financial security. Wow. I would like another card, please. I think another... No, I'm hearing another tarot card. I just want one more. Okay. Let's see. Universe, can we have clarity, please, on new partner, child, blessing in disguise, and king of earth? <laughs> Maybe initially you don't see that this new person coming into your life is a good thing. Maybe it takes you time to work out who they really are and yeah. Because I recently met some people recently and I was like, okay, yes, they're really nice. Maybe they're not nice. I'm not too sure how I feel about them. And now I'm like, oh yeah. There's a lot of opportunities linked to that. Okay. I'm getting told to pick this card. Ooh! Whoa, the star. 17, numerology of eight. I can't remember what the numerology of eight is. Happy times. Make positive, optimistic, long-term plans. You're on the right path. And you are a beautiful angel. Look, I can see green around you. So that's linking me to the heart chakra, which also links to the child card for me because it's like letting your inner child play using your self-love practices. Archangel Josephine. Josephine, I don't know much about you, so help me, please. Oh, I just got a, I just got a song. Help me if I'm done. I'm feeling down. 
That's a John Farman song. So you're getting help and you're getting guidance from these people. Like they're helping you out. That's what I'm hearing. And then I saw someone shoveling. Someone's helping you shovel. <laughs> I don't know what that means. Okay, 17, the star. Go ahead and wish upon a star. The angels say that you have every reason to feel hope and happy expectation. Believe in your dreams and look to your future with optimism, excitement, and confidence. Oh, I just heard, um, I have confidence in me. Dum bum 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 bum. And all those children haven't blessed them. They will look after me. Is that of Mary Poppins? No, no, it's not Mary Poppins. I've been there. It's in Salzburg. Oh, what is that? My mum is probably screaming at YouTube screen right now, going, Mel. Oh, Sound of Music. There we go. Um, challenging times are now behind you and brighter times are ahead. So that's the blessing in disguise. You've finished with that. Make your plans with a long view in mind. There was another card that said that. Okay, that, that's good. That's good. Now is the time to envision your life the way you want it to be and take action in that direction. The expectations you create for yourself are planted in fertile soil. Trust and follow your intuition as it is always on target. Additional meanings. Faith. Oh, I heard that song. Because you got to have faith, faith, faith. If I can touch your body. Okay. A sense of purpose, a prosperous new beginning. Another card we spoke about linked to financial security. Um, being on the right path. Archangel Josephiel, let's show Josephiel again. She is beautiful. Um, is the angel of optimism who helps us develop a sunshiny outlook and attitude. Call upon Josephiel to help you celebrate your victories and stay optimistic about your future. Oh my gosh, my love. So this is an exciting time. There are new people that are coming into your existence and you need to make sure that you are keeping up with your self-love practices to keep you in vibrational alignment. You know, whatever is happening is a blessing in disguise for you. Maybe it is so unexpected and you had no idea that this is how you even envisioned your life turning. Um, but the universe always brings you what you need and is always there to uplift you for your height, your highest good. And what else was there? It's a successful time. Like, look, it's the king, for goodness sake. You can't get any better than the king. The earth also reminds me to also practice um, getting like your self-love practices in mother nature. Um, and 17, massive arcana. Let me just, oh no, I don't have, I'll put a link in the description to what the numerology of eight is because I don't know. I always type into Google, but um, I keep seeing eight, what does this mean? Or I keep seeing 88, or I keep seeing 888, or four of eight, whatever it is. I see lots of numbers so much. That's all I see is numbers. Let me just click on the screen. Okay. It's exciting, my loves, it's so exciting. Please make sure that you check out my Law of Attraction series and my video on self-love practices. It is a little outdated, the self-love practices, but you know, the message is still clear and true. I just look a little different. <laughs> Talk about a transformation. Anyways, my love, I am so excited for you. Please comment below. Let me know what came up for you. I love hearing from you and I will do my best to respond to you as soon as possible. I love you so much, my love. Please make sure that you subscribe so you never miss another episode. And I just wanted to thank you from the bottom of my heart for continuing to follow my YouTube journey. I've actually been on YouTube as of Sunday, which you're watching this on the 19th of March, three years. Three years and we've got over 800,000 views on my channel and I cannot begin to thank you enough. So please share this with everyone in your life that needs a little bit of guidance. That would be wonderful and it helps me get the message out. As always, my love, 
I love making these videos for you. I just wanted to remind you to continue to make better choices as it's going to help you on your journey to become the greatest version. I love you, I love you, I love you, and I will see you Tuesday. Bye.